Good morning, uh, everyone. Let's uh, start. I'm uh, an uh, Italian geologist, and uh, my English uh, is uh, terrible. Uh, for this reason, uh, I need uh, read, to read uh, my, my presentation, my note. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to express uh, our thanks tanks uh, Professor Martin Corpus for inviting me to this, uh, to this conference. The study of gravitational anomalies uh, and the LA effect uh, found in Italy during uh, eclipses uh, and uh, earthquake found uh, in Italy. Uh, I present the data collection in uh, northern Italy near Rovigo, a small, uh, small town located on uh, the 45th uh, parallel and uh, conducted by Mario, Dr. Mario Campion between 2010 and 2011. West created the new gravimeter concept accurate up to the 8th decimal place. The measure carried out uh, 24-7 have uh, shown unusual behavior during uh, total and partial eclipses, and even after strong earthquakes. This uh, effect can be related to the experience described uh, by professors, Professor Maurice uh, Allais during the eclipses uh, observed in 1954 and 1959. Since uh, Dr. Mario Campion, gravimeter, is also made a pendulum technology. Okay. The instrument used in this in this case for monitoring the gravitational field differ significantly. Uh, from those normally used, which are essentially of, uh, of, of, uh, of three, three, times. three types. The first, uh, me. this is a monitoring station uh, near Rodigo in uh, the northern, in northern Italy, uh, where uh, is placed the gravimeter in uh, by Dr. Mario Campion, the concept, the new concept of the, the, the gravimeter uh, with technologies of the pendulum. Okay. Uh, the first uh, is a spring gravimeter uh, with constant length. The second is able to measure to absolute gravity, also now as a free fall gravimeter. And the third, the one uh, which works uh, with the sensing element and electromagnetic balance. This is a, no, a the gravimeter normally used uh, for the detected uh, the variation of the gravitational uh, field. And uh, the new concept, uh, the technologies, uh, Mario Campion, is uh, very good. The, the instrument created by Mario Campion differ significantly from this three type and may have advantages in terms of measurement compared to them. It basically refers to the gravimeter which makes the most of the potential of the simple pendulum as long as its functionality is optimized with advanced, advanced technologies. The tool measures the average value of gravity in a defined time interval by timing with extreme precision the time that the oscillator needs to perform 1,000, 100, and 10 oscillations. Then uh, dividing the value by the number of oscillations itself. According to Dr. Campion, a great advantage of this instrument is that it is uh, able to, to sum all the gravity value that have acted on the oscillator one after the other. The graph uh, 
I will show the next, uh, the next slide. The graph do not uh, show daily and on a regular basis the curve of tidal forces. But over a complete cycle, uh, they point out to significant events uh, which clearly interpret the tidal forces. Drawing graph of similarly with those of the tidal forces, always with great amplification of the phenomenon. From uh, the daily analysis of the graph we infer that during the lunar month there are two critical moments, one closer to the new moon, generally more pronounced, and uh, one closer to the full moon in which the trend of gravity recovered by gravimeter agrees with the tide prediction on Adriatic Sea in, uh, in Italy. The slide shows the trend of the gravity on February 2, 2011. The day before the new moon, the recording was carried out with the gravimeter set on uh, one uh, anchor measure with four minutes interval. intervals. The trend curve of the average measured data mirrors the trend of the tide in the Adriatic Sea, the maximum corresponding to the passages on the sun and the moon over the marine. Comparing this trend with the graphs, of the tidal forces uh, measured with other gravimeters will show the amplification of tidal force highlighted by this type of gravimeters, the variation between maximum and minimum of the tide, which come up uh, from the graph is 5.5 millionth of uh, g, g, small g. Before going uh, on with the data of the study, I will recall uh, what the LA effect implies uh, according to Dr. Uh, Martin Corpus uh, explained uh, in uh, his uh, presentation. Uh, in the northern hemisphere, the pendulum block uh, will rotate clockwise at uh, the very beginning, beginning uh, of an eclipse, uh, the pendulum's uh, rotation will deviate counterclockwise. Then it will return to a clockwise uh, rotation. Can be observed on both solar and lunar eclipses. Can be measured on the side of the Earth, which is opposite the eclipses. Eclipse. The effect is an abnormal motion observed in a pendulum during various cycles. The anomaly in the, is uh, counterclockwise. As the pendulum's location approaches the sun or the moon, or as the moon or the earth gets uh, closer to a particular point in space, and clockwise when the opposite is uh, the case. I shall now describe the data and uh, the anomaly detected uh, during eclipses and the strong earthquakes and the possible connection between eclipses and uh, earthquakes. Let's start uh, with the partial eclipse uh, of the Sun on uh, January 4, 2011 in uh, the northern uh, Italy. Okay. 
The graph shown in this slide measured uh, at intervals of uh, 100 oscillations illustrated the instrumental data recorded uh, during the partial eclipses. eclipse. It showed that uh, in the time interval between the theoretical alignment of the three ce celestial bodies and the passage and of the moon over the meridian. The gravimeter detected a peak rising of gravity equal to 16 millions of G. This result was obtained under regular conditions since the instrument was working without any, ex any external influence. As additional data, and as part of the assessment, also consider uh, that uh, there were no anomalies in the tide of the Adriatic Sea, but the time of the eclipse. In the event of total solar eclipses, data about their severity from research institutions and universities were also assessed, but uh, they did not detect uh, specific abnormalities, maybe only modest decreases. An, object, an uh, objection raised by the researchers was the gravitational anomaly could derive from the influence of uh, an aquifer under the post of the gravimeter. However, chances are uh, it is a different sensitivity of the sensor which detected the phenomenon shown in the graph compared to the free fold gravimeter, which instead focuses on the vertical component of gravity. In this context, it is worth uh, remembering that even Maurice Allais noticed abnormal behavior on the Foucault pendulum during solar eclipses. In this regard, however, another hypothesis, hypothesis may as well be this decrease, a decrease in intensity of the Earth's magnetic field due to the eclipse of the Sun. During the eclipse of the Sun, a very low frequency radio wave monitoring was also performed and uh, it uh, didn't record any spatial interference of anomalies for the duration of the eclipse. Apart from the strong peaks registered in the early times when the sun was rising. Now this is the total eclipse of the moon, December 21, 2010, in northern Italy. This graph showing abscissa, the number of measuring of uh, intervals, each of about 28 minutes, and in ordinate the value of the period detected by the oscillator, which is even more eccentric than uh, the previous graph, and it relates uh, to the eclipse of the sun. And it does not agree with the finding obtained with other instruments. The data we infer from the graph reveal an increase of the level of gravity of about uh, uh, thir 30 milli millions of uh, the period equal to a change of uh, 20 million of G, corresponding to about uh, 45 milligram. At this point, uh, uh, we could question the instrumental data from the gravimeter True, we believe uh, it wouldn't uh, be appropriate because the trend of the graph uh, leaves uh, little room for misinterpretations. 
the instrumental data show a tensile stress toward an increase of, in the level of uh, G, which starts six hours before the passage of the moon over the meridian and is completed by the occultation of the moon during the eclipse. That is uh, maybe random, uh, it would be unlikely. Looking closer, consider another similarity with the other graph about the eclipse of the sun. In this case too, the variation of uh, gravity takes place with an increase and not a decrease, even if uh, it will uh, not go back to its primitive values like in the other case. What uh, we can say about this? We can uh, say that uh, the tidal forces can be associated to various codes, codes linked together, such as uh, modest deformation in the soil, micro displacement of the center of uh, gravity of the Earth, and still other causes which at the moment are difficult to pinpoint due to their complexity. If uh, this is, in the, is the case, the experimental data represent a starting point for the formulation of new theoretical models to interpret this physical and geographical phenomenon. Let's now focus on the behavior of gravity registered under strong earthquakes of magnitude greater, greater, greater than 5 and more, often greater than magnitude uh, 6. The first case uh, concerned the earthquake in Japan occurred in March 11, 2011. During the catastrophic earthquake in Japan, the barometer recorded the event with low frequency signals, which are open to important interpretations. The unit was operating with 10 measures and 10 oscillations, and therefore obtaining average value of the gravity on 15 seconds insert into 135 second intervals. So the analysis of the event was detailed, namely with uh, uh, a total of uh, 650 daily measurements. The graph showed the registration of an interval of uh, six hours and fully grasps the event with the continuous recording for 6 a.m. to 2 minutes before 12. The peak on the graph has a value about 55 microseconds, but we know that is a value average over 15 seconds. And we do not know if the instrument could record it, it on its maximum value. This slide shows the same event extended over time with a total of 19 measurement intervals on the abscissa. We can see that the phenomenon shows the decrease in gravity of 40 millionths of g and is damped with half wave only. We can consider it a phenomenon of a gravitational nature because we believe the whole wave lasted, lasted about 13 minutes. So with a frequency not comparable to that of the seismic waves. The data from the uh, INGV report that the shock occurred 
uh, at uh, 6, uh, 45, 46 minutes uh, and uh, 24 seconds Italian times, whereas the expanded graph showed that it was detected by the gravimeter at uh, 7 and uh, 5 minutes with uh, a delay of uh, 1,241 seconds, traveling at a speed of about 7 km per second. An important detail is the symmetry, the variation of gravity, both in correspondence of the peak and uh, in later surveys uh, illustrating the variation of gravity happening at regular, regular time. This last feature certainly opens up uh, new questions. Uh, I don't know if uh, you can see uh, every intervals, for example, for example uh, start uh, at 7 o'clock and uh, the last uh, and uh, decrease in uh, 7.9 minutes and uh, this, the symmetry is perfect 7.5 minutes the slide uh, the slide show a, similar, a trend similar to the previous peak, which uh, coincides with the earthquakes and the interval between the beginning of the increase in the end point of the decrease is about nine minutes. Exactly. Uh, the, the last case, the, the case of the uh, earthquake, the Japan earthquake. Nine minutes. A similar trend uh, to the earthquake in Japan with the regularity of changes in the measurement of gravity was also found for the L'Aquila earthquake in Italy, April 6, 2009. Through the energy involved was very different uh, also in this case we see the time symmetry in the peak of the value of the gravity. At this point, it's, uh, it's reasonable to wonder if there may be another types of graphs for the other earthquakes. The answer is uh, yes, as shown in the following slides. The second type uh, is the peak one, uh, and also in this case the temporal regularity of the variation <coughs> of gravity is respected. Three, three cases of earthquake with the magnitude <coughs> uh, greater than six are illustrated here for this type. <coughs> this type of graph are characterized by a symmetry of the graph that present in the vertex and inclination toward the right. This graph respect to the time interval between the onset of the perturbation and the maximum point and between this last one and the negative peak, which is also inclined to the right. The variation in the change trend of gravity takes place at regular intervals. The graph which shows the increase of gravity in correspondence of the shock refer to an earthquake of magnitude uh, 7.3 occurred in Russia. This uh, slide shows the graph uh, of an earthquake of magnitude 7.3, the same as the last earthquake, occurred in Iran 
boost performance is uh, similar to the previous earthquake. The same interval time and the in, uh, inclination uh, toward, toward um, right. This graph too, through respecting the performance uh, of the previous two, show a fourth feature namely the regularity of the variation of gravity in increasing or decreasing. This type of graph is characterized by multiple peaks representing both the main shock and the seismic sequence. The case shown is that the earthquake in Russia with a magnitude of 8.2. After the two shocks that coincide with the peaks on the graph, magnitude 8.3, magnitude second earthquake, magnitude 7, 6.7 aftershock. You can see the resulting vibration of the Earth's crust. Okay. Is there uh, a relationship between gravity anomalies, the eclipse, uh, and uh, earthquakes? Now I shall present uh, the case of earthquake in the top lane, central Italy, uh, northern Italy, hit by a swarm on May, May 20, 2012, with the main shock of magnitude 5.9 occurred during the annular eclipses, eclipse of the sun, which affected the opposite hemisphere. Italy, northern Italy, Poplain, and uh, opposite uh, the hemisphere, the limit, uh, sun, and, the, and the moon. In this slide, the trend of gravity is shown decreasing and immediately increasing in relation with the Italian effect. Warning tremor. First, tremor, first earthquake, second earthquake, and uh, gravity is dividing. We can uh, conclude. That is already stated by Morris L.A. during eclipses, abnormal trends of uh, gravity may occur, as illustrated in this study, even during strong earthquakes. The questions remain open whether the phenomenon is influenced by the Newtonian gravitational forces. That uh, is uh, to say, those related to the interaction of the mass of the celestial bodies. Or is uh, it uh, due to electromagnetic interactions, which are influence the movement of the pendulum and determine the <coughs> anomalies in gravity? The debate remains open. Thank you for your attention.